I, uh, I had actually considered that. 4,000 hours, by the way. Rimrims, welcome to hell. The Ice Age is upon us. Yesterday I said it was only a month, but it's actually like a month and 11 days because I can't count. Thank you to the one or two or 50 or 60 comments on yesterday's episode telling me to build a base around the lava, which would get us killed horribly because of the Ice Age. <laughs> oh, and while we're on the subject of talking about things that would kill us horribly, let me introduce you to my good friend, Dagother making his return. I do agree that it is a far more interesting storyteller than Empress Evil. I have tweaked the storyteller to remove the chance of our people disappearing into thin air. Um, as challenging as that is, does kind of ruin everything. <laughs> so, to clarify, the Ice Age will last an entire season, all throughout the winter month. The temperature, though, will only go down to minus 100 degrees C. I say only, as if that's not going to kill us instantly. The reason I say only is because the mod by default goes to minus 270, which is a touch below absolute zero. As cold as my heart. A few people were also somewhat concerned that the Ice Age doesn't sound like a particularly enjoyable time for our characters. To reiterate, it's a hell planet. We live in a friggin' volcano. We can't grow crops. I'll be honest, 15 days of it being a bit chilly... I think that's probably the least of our problems right now. So my big brain plan is very simple. We're going to roof over all of this if we can. If not, we're going to die horribly. So let's take it a step at a time. Yeah, see, that's not... That's not really very good. Uh, I don't think we can reach over here. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, okay, that is a slight problem, I will admit. Next step, I guess we see if there are enough trees left to build bridges. So we would have to do that. And then all of our food comes from... If I'm clever with how we build it, if we gerrymander the sea, we can potentially get multiple zones of fishing still. Well, I tried. We've only got two fishing zones still, and I don't think there'll be enough fish to keep everybody alive. Stop it, Arcadius. This isn't what I wanted. Unbelievable. We're on the verge of all freezing to death. Oh, I have also been told that we should probably kill the metallivore. Something gives me the strange impression that this thing might like to eat metal. Arcadius knocked him down? What the hell did you do to him? General Joe? <gasps> you pulled his friggin' leg off! That's a really good plant cutter taken out of the running. Well, I mean, literally, I suppose. We're never gonna be able to get a leg up on this nice <laughs> age. You've really put your foot in it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Was it a mistake to send the person made out of metal after the creature that eats metal? Yeah, maybe in hindsight. Kill it! For God's sake, kill it! Oh, the friggin' walls! Well, let's assume it was tactical. So now that we can safely alloy metal, along with trying to get some sort of winter food, we can start work on a power grid so that we don't freeze to death. On the plus side, though, if we do freeze to death, they are celestial, so eventually they'll resurrect. We're just gonna, you know, put them on ice for a season. Ah! F frig off! Hey, get out of here! Oh, come on! I'll put Dagothur back in. He's a much more fun storyteller. Get him, Shittle. Get him, Shittle. I believe in you. Oh, for... Fuck's sake. I look forward to when they're all trapped in a bunker during the winter and then six of those things spawn in at once. On the plus side, we did get some lovely building materials out of that. <laughs> Maybe we should be out here killing whatever spawns in just to take its blood. Spined gal, cinderlisk. Okay, let's not fuck with the cinderlisk, but I'll take the metallivores as well. Why do, why do you do this to yourself? Just don't panic. Oh God, what happened to General Joe? Are you... Well, uh, hello? Wait. Bruise eight. Oh, that, that's Arcadius. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's just fallen over. That's fine. Oh, it's the pain from where his limbs are regrowing. Oh, okay. Right, we'll pick you up in a second. Sorry, just got to deal with the last of these... Last of these metallivores. Nice, there we are. So, the plan is to... Uh, when we've got enough wood to build the bridges, I'm going to get General Joe... Really? I'm going to get General Joe to link with the Grandland Tree. I didn't want to do that originally because... It doesn't really suit him, does it? Maybe this is the start of an incredible redemption art for General Joe. He becomes zen, tending to his dryad garden. Filling a field with nature and flowers rather than the blood of his enemies. No! You stupid friggin' dryad. Well, I guess we won't be building any more bloody spike traps then. Ah! Dagoth her. Hello. In the dream, a tall figure in a golden mask was walking through the ash-covered ruins. They tried to follow, but their legs could not move. They looked down and saw their legs slowly sinking into the ash, several deformed hands reaching up towards them, dragging them down. They awoke, unable to move, the hands still reaching towards them from the shadows. Remus is now paralyzed. What does that do? It just, it just is paralyzed. 
Well, I certainly hope that wears off. <laughs> Fuck off. Two people had a disturbing dream. They've been affected by the dream, but this will pass over time. Disturb sleep. Minus 10% consciousness and 100% rest fall rate. My god, this storyteller. We finally have enough steel to build the quarry. Now, I would like it somewhere where we can actually use it during the Ice Age. Even if we can't heat the room that the quarry is in, just having it somewhere where they could do a little bit of mining, go back to the safe temperature and repeat would be, would be quite a lot over the course of 15 days. I'll be the first one to admit, this is a dump. This is really just a horrible place to live, but it's sealed in, it's roofed over, and it counts as indoors. All we need to do now is find some components, and by some, I mean fucking loads. And in theory, we've got somewhere we can survive. They're not going to be happy about it, and they're not going to be able to do a huge amount unless I can maybe find room for a couple of research benches. But every research bench we've got, it's another six blocks we have to heat up as well, so it's not really ideal. Are there any components on the map? I would assume if steel doesn't spawn in, neither will components. Um, that could be an issue. <laughs> we can get them from the quarry, but they're very, very rare. Yeah, I think the only thing we could possibly do here is go for compacted machinery from the from the quarry, huh? One luxury quarry. Wow. I think if we throw in a couple of doors here, they might actually be able to work it during the Ice Age. You piss off. So maybe we take half of our fishers and we put them into quarrying, or at least the ones that shit at fishing, I suppose. There we go. I thought I'd crank the brightness a little bit because between the volcanic ash, the nighttime, and the blue tint it'll put on during the Ice Age, I don't think you'll be able to see anything. Let me know, though, if it does need cranking a little bit more and we can, we can try and make things a bit more visible. So I looked it up and uh, the chance of quarrying up a component from the quarry is 3.3%. And that's with a successful quarrying. That doesn't include the chunk chance or the chance of just failing. And we're going to need a minimum of what? Two components for the wind turbine, plus one component per heater. And to be honest, I'd also like some solar panels as a backup power source. We've got a month to mine up seven components. This is, this is going to be fun. Coal? We could probably refuel campfires with coal. That also works. Um, there's a rider on fire. <laughs> that wasn't me. Can the Storyteller also like, oh, it's probably the Cinderlisks, right? They shoot fire? Their fangs are also burning hot, so they tend to light things on fire. Got it. By strange beasts, I assume you're not talking about shit, all right? Hello, so I'm normal creatures have arrived. Oh. Oh, I'm not a fan of that at all. We could kill it and use its blood to build our base. Blood amount, 210. Oh, that's a lot of blocks. Only 60% chance? I think we'll be okay. There we go. I sure hope it doesn't die during the Ice Age now. What would be useful for us at this point? Woodmaker would be quite good. Berry Maker, I think, would be quite good. I think, though, we would get more food from having him fish rather than attending the Granlin tree. Oh, good. A volcanic winter. And that's on top of the Ice Age. Some distant volcano or fire has begun spewing massive quantities of ash into the atmosphere. Ash in the atmosphere will obscure the sun. Good. Okay. The Dark Young just got into a fight with that Chemfuel Myrmidon. Well, firstly, I'm taking that. How are you looking? Bleeding out in 24 hours. Let me go and finish the job. I'm sorry, giant monster. I need your blood to build my walls with. Thank you. Oh, God. Maybe start running. Fat Larry, don't club the monster. Oh, my God. It's fast. Ah. Uh, kill it. Please kill it. For God's sake, kill it faster. Oh, no. Their sanity. Their sanity. You don't need that. You don't need that during an Ice Age. Oh, Remus. <laughs> oh, poor sweet Remus. I'm so sorry. There you go. Great shooting team. While fishing, Fat Larry has caught something special. Warrior genetic material. <laughs> yeah, I probably would say that's fairly special. Thank you, Fat Larry. Uh, we could give it to General Joe. Hey, General Joe, you want to be a horrible fucking mutant man? I mean, he's already got the gift of her scene, right? Install warrior genetic material. We need two medicine, but I'm fairly certain we got a load of medicine dropping from that from that raid last time. Robo Mummy's probably having the time of her life. Predator stomach? Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Predator stomach? A highly efficient, although basic stomach alternative. Subjects with this mutation will be able to live long with less food. Oh, yeah, it's minus 25%. Wow. Oh, thanks, Fat Larry. If you could fish up another six of those, that would be great. <laughs> I can't wait for us all to starve to death when they fish up a fedora rather than rather than dinner. And of course I'm giving that to Arcadius because he is the sin of lust. <laughs> <laughs> mm.
my lady. Is there any way to stop this? Because this is every single night at this point. I know it's only minus 10% consciousness, but when you've got... Well, everything else to deal with. That's quite a lot. Ah, another healthy dose of sleep paralysis. Wow, that's kind of... Kind of scary, isn't it? Just her red glowing eyes as she flails around in a bedroom. In the dark. Oh, and now... And now Joe is on fire. <laughs> it is the 1st of September, giving us a month before the Ice Age hits, and we haven't got a single component. So I think the plan is let's take Larry and put Larry only on cooking and fishing. And then everybody else, I'm going to have to crank up to quarrying. Otherwise, otherwise we're dead. And then legally, I'm going to put in charge of sewage sludge composting. There you go. What does that one mean? Wandering around in a dream state. Dream of dagoth Ur. Okay. Oh, it, it's just a mental break. Oh, God. I thought Dream of Wakes was another another monster turning up in his room. We're not rescue him. Oh. Well. <laughs> as far as meteorological developments go, this is uh this is at least a new one. Where whereabouts are we looking at? At this. Um. Oh! Oh my fucking Garanlan tree! You shit! Oh, what did it drop, though? <gasps> it gave us a battery! And it killed a bunch of animals, so we can make some more blood creep. Oh, the battery is great, because we don't have the... We don't have the research for that. Oh, shit. Um... Put it like... Put it like there. Well, I gave this to Lee, because there wasn't anything else to do, but... Actually, it might end up being really, really good. Useful for harsh environments with a limited space to grow. Yeah, I'd say this biome probably qualifies for that. <laughs> And with the exception of the dryad that was wiped out by a meteor, we actually have a woodmaker dryad now. I thought, look, from the fr from the state of things as they are right now, it's probably unlikely we're going to get enough components to make electric heating work. But at least with the woodmaker dryads, we can start stockpiling that. And between that and the coal, we might be able to just keep campfires going long enough to survive the 15 days. Two components. At long last, we can build a wind turbine that will power absolutely nothing because we have no other components at that point. Well, I suppose we'll just put it facing into the lava that way no trees will grow on the other side whoa oh you build power conduits out of copper now well that makes a lot of sense oh come on you two these people are all gonna hate each other by the time we actually get around to building a half decent base general joe compared remus to a fucking terrorist they're fighting again you better not have pulled off another leg remus otherwise i swear to god okay he's 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 fine he's just Hideously battered. <laughs> I love that Fat Larry is just carrying on as if nothing's happened. <laughs> Remus, I am warning you right now. If you botch this wind turbine, you're going to straighten the lava, my friend. Granted, the lava isn't actually warm. Just be kind of inconvenient, if anything. There we go. Power output of 92 watts. You've done it again, Remus. <laughs> I mean... It's also not as if we can power anything right now. Anyway, minimum we're going to need is the single component for the heater at this point. Though, I don't think a single heater is going to save us in minus 100 degrees C. How are we doing for the wood stockpile? ATC. Oh, yeah, we're ready. Bring it on. Did you just dig up four of them? Arcadius. The man might have single-handedly saved the colony there. So we have to put one in here. We, we just don't have a choice for that. So we'll, we'll, we'll drop one there. Uh, I, I think in terms of area we're going to have to live in. Shit, can we build a bed out of those bloodstone bricks? Because we'll put down some we'll put down some bloodstone beds. Could reinstall the ones out of the bedroom, but we might just need... Eventually, we're going to have to build a bunker area anyway, right? Uh, I suppose, we, we don't really have time for that. I suppose for the time being, we'll just, we'll just reinstall everything down here. Thanks, Joe. Really, really appreciate that one, pal. And you can fuck off as well, shit. Oh, you little goblin freak. Who's he going to kill? He's going to kill Remus. No, 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 no. Punch him. Larry? Larry, break his legs. Shit, all this is for your own good. Well, it's for Remus' good more than anything else. Oh! Shit, I'm saying the rowdy trait. Oh, for God's sake. Shit, all likes a good fight. He will start a fight because he can. Well, that's the opposite of what I was trying to... <sighs> it's the opposite of what I was trying to solve with that. Meanwhile, Joe's up here just smashing everything. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get rid of these walls and we'll just build it out of brick. We've got 725 bloodstone bricks at this stage. Whoa, 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 hold on. Central heating, though. Oh, or we go air conditioning. Oh, God, this is a difficult one. Air conditioning would be good later down the line. 
Bear in mind, we live in a volcano. Sorry, just to reiterate. <laughs> but this one would also be incredible because I think you can actually build a log burner to be able to boil the water to make the central heating. Oh, then again, I don't think we have enough components to be able to build the water well on the wind pump and everything else. Uh, you know what? Let's go with that one first. How long have we got? Six days. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit close. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that looks way better. Oh, and they're way, way stronger too. That means the next time we get werewolves at the door or Dagothos minions waking up in our bedrooms or General Choco's on a rampage, it'll actually stand up to it. Okay, three components left. We can almost certainly power four heaters from one wind turbine. We'd have to get very, very unlucky to not be able to do that. I think we'll put one in here, which is going to be the bedroom eventually. And then we'll put another one out here because this is quite a large area to try and heat up. And ideally, if we get another one in here too, we've got a double door system on that just to give it some insulation. That way we, we might be able to keep a consistent temperature. Is that going to be able to fight off minus 100? Probably not, but it will probably keep them in the safe to live temperature. Um, sorry? One of your tribes people have been called to action by Dagoth Ur and have now taken up arms against your colony, their old friends and family. In the dream, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to them. Lord Voran Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, steadfast liegeman, faithful friend, bids you to forsake your old life, break their bonds, cleanse cursed skin. Good. The following people have answered the call of Legal Lee. Uh, so Legal Lee has gone berserk? Uh, Legal Lee has not gone berserk. He has straight up changed faction. Devoted of Dagoth Ur. Oh, shit. You mean we've got to... We've got to re-recruit Legal Lee. Brilliant. Okay. Well, let's break his legs first. Break his legs, Larry. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Just bring him down. Nice. Okay, good shit. Yeah, look, he's completely gone from the colonist bar at the top. Damn it, Dagotha. Uh, I guess then we'll throw down a sleeping spot in here, turn that into a prison fast. I hate to say it, if we can't recruit legally by the time that the Ice Age kicks in, we're just going to have to leave him up here to freeze to death and then we'll resurrect him after it's all over. And I guess we'll just straight up go with recruit. He's only got 10 resistance. So it won't take too long. Um. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hello. I mean, we're not going to be able to feed it during the Ice Age, but it can certainly feed us. You fuckers. Remus, what the hell are you wearing? Arcadius 2? <laughs> oh, that with the fedora is a... Uh... That is a premium look. 8.4. And we've only got four days. I'm sorry, Legally, but the frost is coming for you, my friend. Ah, <sighs> go back to Dagoth Ur, they said. That'll be far more fun than Empress Evil, they said. What is that Ash Zombie doing to Fat Larry? Fat Larry? Oh, he's, he's up, he's up, he's up. Break him. Take his legs, Fat Larry. Remus, for God's sake, wake up and give him a hand. Nice. Okay, uh, can we do anything with the Ash Zombie, or do we just want to... Just want to go ahead and finish that off. Brilliant. Well, that was <laughs> straight back to sleep. <laughs> Fat Larry doesn't fuck around. God, that is so good. Who is... Who is shitting coal? Um, that sounds like combat music to me. Hello? Oh, full on mechanoids. Oh, well, that's good. I'll fight those with my club. And my bows and arrows. My god, it's digging around the traps. These enemies are far too smart. Let's move Larry forward so we can get in there and club that pipeman when it comes around the corner. Whoa, what a hit. Wow. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Larry? Dismantle. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Oh, he's only gone and done it. What a guy. Well, that could be a problem. There isn't really anywhere good to get water from. I mean, we could build a well here, but... I don't know how it works with the regular water well, whether there's still a limit to how much water you can get from it. Legal Elite didn't finish the plumbing research either. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> hey, Chittle. Uh, I got a job for you, my friend. No. No, I don't think you understand, Chittle. People's lives are on the line. Thank you. So let's throw down a water well. I guess we'll put it over here somewhere. Uh, 1,130 liters. I guess that's enough. The water tower is a mixture of iron and steel. We'll put that over there. Then we need another wind pump. And other than that, I think we're okay. What about some nice, healthy lead plumbing? <laughs> Toi toilet? Uh, toilet though? 
You need a separate research for toilets? I guess it doesn't really matter. We can build a latrine. On look, we don't have time for luxuries here. You're gonna have to go in front of everybody while they fish. And then we'll plumb the latrine up through to here. And then I guess we'll just, just build a nice little, you know, like a nice little sewage outlet, just dumping all that straight into the ocean. How many components have we got now? 17? Okay, in that case, let's double down on some more heaters. In, in fact, no, no, no. Before we go for more heaters, let's go for another wind turbine. And then we'll put down another heater. How much steel have we got? Three, four, three. This is a good amount. Uh, hello? Oh, Fat Larry. I knew you were sizable, but... Oh, wait, that that's not Fat Larry. He's gonna kill Shittle. I really don't blame him. She just shot him and he walked right past. This man's on a fucking mission. Okay, okay, are we are we fine now? He's missing he's missing an arm? I hate I hate this colony. I hate these people. I never want to see them again. The storyteller can fuck off and so can the weather and legally starving to death. Well, legally, maybe you should have thought of that before you defected. Die. Just just get out. Just get out. Yeah, fucking burn. Yeah, burn. Wait, what? Since illegal Wait. Well, he's dead? What did he die of? He died of malnutrition. Why did no one feed Legal Lee? We had a we had a warden, right? Remus was on warden. Oh, but Remus had his fucking arm pulled off. It doesn't matter. Forget it. We'll leave him in there. It'll just act as a freezer. He'll stay nice and preserved, and then he'll come back to us when winter's over. Oh. Oh. That looks very ice agey to me. I mean, it's still 31 degrees outside, which I wouldn't exactly class as an ice age, but we might just about be able to finish the. Joe? You got something to say for yourself there, huh? No, I mean, they all have a pretty good... Everybody is missing a limb. They, they all have a pretty good excuse. Okay. Didn't botch the water well. We do need that wind pump. We have steel. Joe, I, I swear, you're staying out here. Okay, Arcadius, please alloy some more steel. Bloody fast. Okay, like, preferably faster than that, though. Joe! If you do it again, I'm locking you out. I, I'm, I mean it this time. You're, you're staying out there, please. All I ask... Come on. Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay, that supplies the water. Wooden latrine is good. Is it good, though? Oh. Uh, that's filling up. That's filling up. Okay, latrine is working. That's good. So we don't have to go outside now to empty the damn thing. And then we need a uh, bathtub, something to wash themselves in. There is actually a bathtub. It would be quite cold. There's no hot water, and it's also an ice age. You know what? I'm in. Fine, a nice little lead bathtub. Okay, is that is that good? No water's capacity. We just don't have enough for them to actually run a bath right now. I'm sure that would disappear over time. It's still 23 degrees outside, so we don't really need to move them into the emergency shelter until it gets really cold. I'm also not really sure how it works, whether it just drops the temperature. Oh no, poor elephant one. I'm not sure whether it drops the temperature down by 100 degrees, which won't be too bad because then it's just going to be minus 40 at most or whether it will actually take it down to minus 100. Thank you for your sacrifice, elephant one. 126 buckets of blood. Is that all you get from an elephant? Oh, well, that plummeted fast. It is minus one out there now. Okay, maybe we consider locking the door soon. Minus nine, minus 10. Now I think we'll start moving everything over because that is, that's getting to almost danger levels. How's the actual base doing? 17? Where's the heat coming from? I guess it's just decently well insulated. We probably could have survived in the actual base, but the problem is we wouldn't have any food. Eventually, we could build a greenhouse over our uh, Garanlan tree. Oh, where are the dryads? They just, they just fucking died. You all right? Good. <laughs> and Fat Larry's having a tantrum because he's cold. That seems a good time to lock the doors, I think. Ah, oh, shit. It's only just occurred to me what he's doing. If we let him go now, is he is he good? Is he is he chilled out? It counts as a prisoner? I mean that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just release release Fat Larry. So legally is dead. Fat Larry is now a prisoner and might have also just doomed us by smashing the walls down. Prisoner Fat Larry is escaping. Uh oh we, we released him. We released him. Okay, we're good. You know, I'm getting the strangest deja vu. Okay, what we need to do is remove these fishing zones. Get them into this building. Lock the doors. Ideally, we brick over it because that way if they daze, they can't walk. They can't just open the door and walk outside. Okay, that'll do it. There's a lot of food out there that we can't get to. Doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it'll stay frozen. It's something for 
something for when the winter's gone. And for the time being, the base is actually a good temperature, so I don't mind them just kind of wandering around. No, 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 shit, so get in. Get inside. Is everybody indoors? Because I'm going to seal it up properly now. Yeah, they are. Okay, so let's throw down another block right on the entrance. And that's everybody sealed in. So we should be good. I see it's already minus 15 up in the top building now. Now we get Shittle to close all of the doors. And you know, I think we might just make it. That's quite nice. All huddling together for warmth. Next to the 126 buckets of blood and the 400 blood leeches. And the floor made of made of bones. It's a nice touch. Other than that, is this not what Rimwad is all about? Surviving against insurmountable odds and camaraderie. Actually, on the subject of camaraderie, I wonder what they think of one another. So Robo Mummy is friends with Remus and Shittle. She hates General Joe. She fucking despises General Joe. General Joe ate human flesh. I will always be afraid of him. Minus 25. General Joe went on a murderous rage. What if I'm his next target? Minus 85. General Joe insulted me. Words cut deeper than daggers. Minus 10. General Joe and I had a social fight. Minus 10. General Joe doesn't give a shit about Robo Mummy. Oh god, nobody likes General Joe. Look at this. So he's kind of ambivalent to a lot of people besides Fat Larry. Fat Larry and Joe are, are not good. But he's also friends with Shittle. Everybody likes Shittle and everybody hates General Joe. So Arcadius and Remus are friends. He hates General Joe. That's not much of a surprise. Fat Larry hates General Joe. He's friends with Shittle. Shittle, you are like... Look at this. Plus 53 opinion of Shittle. Plus 60 opinion of Shittle. Plus 57. That's kind of sad. He hates Robot Mummy, but Robot Mummy really likes him. He hates Robot Mummy because she's physically hideous. Is she? Oh, because she's ghoulish. She's still human mostly. Oh, and Shittle really doesn't like that. Well, fuck you, Shittle. And then Remus is... What? Remus's lover is... Telil Edith Soppy... Am... A... 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 A slave. Is that from last series? <laughs> the hungrier I get, the tastier you look, Remus. That's a slight. Damn, that would work on me. <laughs> what a bizarre image. Remus stood there wearing demon straps with a bag over his head, fishing from the bath that General Joe has just got into. <laughs> That's it. That th that is cemented this series for me. I wasn't really sure on it until that exact moment. So the emergency shelter area, 19 degrees, 20 degrees C, and we do have the resources to build more heaters if we need it. We got very, very lucky with the components. And I think we have, yeah, we have quite a lot of steel still alloyed as well. So we could build a few more heaters if needs be. We could always try and expand the power grid. I don't think the power grid will be strong enough to support it. We could get the power grid all the way up to here, get a heater in the research room. The Ice Age is the perfect time to be doing some research. What the hell is Dark Armor? Allows you to create more advanced Dark Eldar Armor. Right. I don't know much about Warhammer, which is which is what this mod originates from. Uh, as far as I know, they worship Slanesh, which I think would be perfect for Arcadius. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, it's... <laughs> ah, it's Remus fixing something. I thought it was a snake. We've got beer brewing. We've got Lycanthropic like, Elixir Creation. We could turn someone into a werewolf. That would be quite good. Or Hunter Weapon Creation. Deals 50% increased damage against animals and werewolves. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. It's a hard choice. Look, I feel like... I feel like we can't craft dark armor. We don't have any any place to craft armor right now. Well, other than the smithy. You might be able to make it there, I suppose. Or we turn someone into a werewolf. Cursed armor. Werewolf. All right. I, I mean, I have to... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. These can be used to remove dormant lycanthropy or convert it into a more useful form? Whoa. The disease is assimilated into the body, providing an increase to certain stats and capabilities. Wait, what? Oh, so maybe when you transform into a werewolf, you, you lose the character, but with this, you can... Absorb it into a stat boost, but it does say that there's a 10% chance for it to fail and they will immediately turn into a werewolf. That sounds very dangerous. I'm in. I, I couldn't be more. Worst case scenario, what? They turn into a werewolf, we kill them, and then they resurrect in a week. I mean, it's not ideal to miss out on a character for an entire week, but it's something. We could just get a lot of fishing done, a lot of resources stacked up in the quarry, and a good amount of research. I think this is going to be fine. Now, while we're here, what can we sort out for long-term problems? Alter design. We, we can't do anything about that, but when the... 
Thank you for that. When the Ice Age is over, I guess we could try and build a proper temple. I mean, one right in the middle of the map. And then the seven faction bases spinning off of that would be very, very cool. That might be something for a very long-term goal, though. Wind blocked. Sorry. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> Piss off. I don't care. And we've also got a psychologist role needed. Who's our best warden right now, given that Legal Lee is our... Uh, legal... Deceased. <laughs> I guess I could just give it to Remus. Here you are, Remus. You are now our psychologist. We can't make him a psychologist. Or we could put down a ritual spot, but it won't be the most comfortable ritual spot. There you go. Right at the end of the fishing bath. Perfect. And that is for my good friend Remus to become psychologist. <laughs> this is so good. Remus offered thoughts on improving the colony. Is it, uh, build the Ice Age base around some lava pools? Because I got some bad news there, Remus. It is the 7th of December. -y. The temperature is a smooth minus 47. Three of our people have broken down. And inside, though, it's a toasty 20 degrees C. I think we've done an all right job. Well, I mean, except for their mental health deteriorating faster than I can keep up with. But other than that, it's fine. Okay, we're going to have to lock down the rest of the base at this point. It's minus 11. I think let's snag the hoopstone ring. Can we install that anywhere they can actually use it? Uh, kind of. Fat Larry, you're on building. Congratulations. <laughs> the 11th of December. -y. Rather than fishing fishes, we've been fishing up mechanoid components and insect chitin. It is currently minus 104. How the fuck can it be minus 104? Well, it's minus 104 and the fishing area is down to 7 degrees C, which means we need to build more heaters pretty damn fast. I'm not sure the power grid is going to be able to take this, to be honest. Oh my god, I'm going to have to go to the other base to get some more to get some more steel. Wh where am I going to put it? I mean, we can take this door away. All right, Fat Larry. Thank you, my friend. How cold is the other part of the base? Minus 56. <laughs> A quick in and out job. It'll be fine. You'll be okay. It's only going to be for two seconds. Oh, God. It got up to 15% hypothermia in that time. Shit all died. What did he fucking die of? Malnutrition. We, I, we can't feed everyone. This is... This is so fucked. Don't botch this, Joe. If you botch this, we're done for. Do not eat shit or dirt. There needs to be something left to be resurrected. Okay. I don't know that the power grid's going to be able to handle that. I might just pull it off. Hey, come back. No, no, no. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get back in here. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. Joe. Joe. Please. Has he stopped? He stopped. He stopped. We're good. We're good. Get back to fishing. Never stop fishing. I don't want you doing anything but fishing. Fuck quarrying. Remus is gone. Remus is gone. Okay, okay don't don't eat Remus. No, no, no. Don't feed Remus to General Joe, Arcadius. The temperature. We're not fishing any bloody fish because the temperature's dropped down. Catch large fish. Catching one lobster is better than catching one single blood leech. Oh, but mummy, where are you going? She's sad wandering off. I, sh I should have boarded this up. I should have boarded it up. I'm not sure she can freeze, though, on account of being an android, so this might be okay. Minus 62 up here. Oh, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. I'm so sorry. I tried my best. I don't know what else I could do. Oh, my God. It's one degree C. Okay, I think what we have to do here... Wait, we just wood. Oh, the dryads are still alive. <laughs> I think we're going to have to just bring sleeping spots into here. Bring all of the heating through into here and then just just sit and fish and sleep on the floor. How many people are alive right now? Four of them. Well, that'll do it. So if I just take this area and say this is a prison now, then we reinstall this into there. Give me the other heater as well. Put it wherever there's space. Throw it down right there. And then... Everybody goes in here and we lock the doors. Let's go and shut the doors rather than locking them. And that's it. That's life now. And when Robo Mummy is broken out of it, we'll bring her back down and through as well. Medical emergency. Is that Robo Mummy? Legal. Legal Lee's back. Oh, Legal Lee, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I can't do anything about this. She's just decided to go and have a, have a quick nap. You're really not bothered by this cold, are you? Oh, that's interesting. Um, 
There was a lot of food out here, but it's obviously deteriorated, except for those which have jumped on the rock, which I'm not entirely sure is how that works. The fact that legally resurrected and then is immediately gonna die again to the cold. We got chocolate syrup. Can you not just eat the chocolate syrup? You can't, you can't eat it. It has to be made into something because it's a condiment. That's bullshit. Oh, there goes legally. <laughs> Crisis of belief, General Joe. I get it. Yeah, I probably, probably would be in the same boat there. Ooh, we get to uh, start a new psychologist though. Okay, uh, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be Fat Larry. <laughs> At least this way we can reassure them we can use the psychologist abilities to try and bring these people. I take that back. Uh, no, I don't think we'll be doing that at all. Okay, like I was saying, we can use the psychologist role to really... Fuck it. One, one participant. Why not? Perfect. Okay, so now you... Reassure. No, we don't. Yeah, we do need to reassure. That's correct. When General Joe is not being a little bitch. 19. Okay, so it's still. The temperature in here is holding up. It's minus 63 in the room adjacent. Well, thank God we got out of there. We've only got to survive another two and a half days. That's all we need. Oh, Shittle Dirt is resurrected. Hello, Shittle. Uh, I got some bad news for you, pal. You're on the wrong side of the door. We could, we could, we could let him in. Rescue Shittle. Uh, okay, medical bed. Medical bed. Sorry, okay, this. Rescue Shittle. Okay, okay, good. No, fuck off. The second he saw that door open, he was trying to make a break for it. And Remus is back too, for what little difference that'll make in the grand scheme of things. Uh, you're giving up your bed. Sorry, General Joe. And Robo Mummy caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> to add insult to injury. And at a cool temperature of minus 163 degrees C, it is our final day of the Ice Age. So much for minus 100. Not very happy about that one. Remus is dead again. Shittle is catatonic. It's minus 18 in the supposedly safe area. And Fat Larry is dying of hypothermia too. And now there's a there's an ash zombie. <laughs> Arcadius. Who would stand tall at the end of it all other than Arcadius? Good luck, my friend. You know, grab that grab that bone spear. Arcadius with a bone spear seems very on brand. Good luck. This is this is the final fight here. He's done it. There is food. It's probably not the... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello? Candlebrand. Oh, poor sweet Candlebrand. I think we have, if I'm not mistaken, the... Oh, God, I can't remember the name of the mod now. It's a mod that makes it so temperature is... Oh, you can see it there. That there's a kind of circumference around things that produce a temperature that will increase the temperature there. Oh, but it's only... Okay, great. I was going to say it could stand near a geothermal then and then be fine but it's still minus 132 so it isn't much better brilliant <laughs> got halfway across the map good thank you candle brand you really were the savior we needed and general joe was defected as well the same way legal lee did brilliant brilliant just put it on the list six hours remaining fat larry is gone oh he died right as the it was about to end and it's over wait that's it it just flashes off well, there we are. Robo Mummy, Shittle, and Arcadius. The only ones that survived it. Oh. Oh, the main base is so well insulated, it's still minus 105 in there. So what I think we'll do then is we'll actually no, keep that locked. We'll we'll put the corpses of Fat Larry and Remus into here just to keep them frozen until they resurrect. I guess we'll also imprison General Joe. And as long as we don't accidentally devour anybody, we're fine. Everything is good. And overall, another happy day in Rimworld. Well done, everyone. Tomorrow, we'll start tidying everything up, but I'm very, very optimistic for tomorrow because eventually, when we re-recruit General Joe and Legal Lee, we know our food situation prior to the whole thing is, is pretty good. Our base is looking fine. You know, we made a little bit of progress there. We got a couple of good research cracked out today as well. And with General Joe as our dryad wrangler, his plant skill might get to the level where we can actually start a farm. Then we will go legitimately from just surviving to potentially thriving. And I think I need to lie down because that was, that was very silly. Thank you to Taco Cat, Armac1955. Nil Draith, Deadly Black Belt, German Hammer, Hottie Sphinx, Smug Jack, TG Taps, Dirt Nerd, Green Bath Mordor, Arabs, Grey Plays, Galaxy Wolf, Atomno Unconquered, Jestinor, Other Guy 39, and Waffles and Whiskey for their support of the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible. 
And a thank you as well goes out to Dunamite, The Apocalypse Shovel, Sangre, Sam Haruni, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Duke, Adam S, Kestrian, Callum James 3, Quagasol, Kumbi, Deirdre, Cody Cope, Randy Rimmer, Monk, Alexander H, The Other 18 Covids, and Blue Chaos. 